So basically, I hate YouTube. So that's the hook of this video. And if you want to find out more, then uh, stick around and I'll tell you why. <sighs> We always, well, I think it's only human nature, basically, that uh, we always blame somebody else, not yourself, but somebody else or something else. And in my case, I am blaming YouTube. Now, why am I saying this? For the loyal viewers, you have noticed that I didn't post anything last uh, weekend. And to be quite honest, um, I haven't filmed anything for the last three weeks. So the videos that you have seen uh, up till now were all, you know, along the way. I mean, it's still my, my road to Scandinavia, but um, I haven't been filming for the last two weeks now because of an injury. And like I said, I am blaming YouTube for my injury. So <laughs> let me quickly recap the story about the injury and then uh, I'll let you know what, uh, what I'm planning to do about it or if it's gonna change my YouTube channel, whether I wanna quit this whole thing because to be quite honest, my health is more important than putting out a weekly video. So, um, let me first of all, um, you know, welcome you to lovely Scandinavia. In the background you see a lake, a fjord, something in Sweden. It's nice and sunny. I wanted to go out on the water, but it's kind of windy, so I don't think you will hear me with the microphone setting that I have at the moment. So, um, microphone setting, mobile phone setting, that is another reason why I got injured. Okay. Let me go down to the story. Just after I entered finally, like Scandinavia, just after I entered Denmark, I made a quick stop at a little, um, little harbor and I thought like, wow, I need to, you know, make a little, you know, entry into Denmark video clip for YouTube, for you guys. So I quickly jumped out of the van. Unfortunately, I had stored my bike in the van at the, you know, the, the, the living room area. So I had to quickly, you know, throw that out. And I wanted to tie it to a signpost. And I did. And I bent over and I, I tied, you know, I, I, you know, I used the chain, chained it to the, uh, the signpost. And I just got up. And unfortunately, I didn't realize that the the actual sign, like a triangle, was very low. So I came up and hit my head on the sharp end of that triangle. And at the moment, I, at that particular moment, I didn't really think anything of it, just like, oh, ow, you know, that kind of ow thing. Then it started raining, it actually started pouring as well. So it's like, still nothing, nothing really, you know, apart from some sharp pain. But then all of a sudden this, this stuff started dripping and I thought like this is not rain anymore and I sort of touched it with my hand and of course it was blood and it was like loads of blood and it just kept on bleeding very very hard so there I am trying to take a picture or a video and I think like oh stuff that I mean you know this is more important so um, I didn't bring anything, you know, first aid kit in my van, uh, but I realized that every car has a first aid kit. So I, I, I delved into that. It didn't really have much stuff in, in, uh, you know, disinfecting or anything. So it only had bandages. So, so I basically put some compressors on them and bandages and I managed to stop the bleeding, but, um, I thought like this needs to be disinfected because you know this is like an outside sign and i don't want like want to get an infection so um i googled the nearest pharmacy so i went to the nearest pharmacy very pleasant people again i don't speak a word of danish thank god for them they spoke english and you know they saw this and you know 
I mean, a typical pharmacist probably be they go like, ooh, that looks like it might have to be, you know, sewn together and, you know, this might be like a worse than you think. So I would go to hospital or I would go and see a doctor. I was like, oh, I really don't really feel like doing that. But, you know, they were kind of insistent and I thought like, okay, um, again, I know nothing in this country, in this city, only oh, city, it was like a little village. So, um, you know, they, they made a couple of phone calls and um, uh, there was a doctor, a GP that sort of said like, yeah, yeah, you, he can come swing by now and uh, I'll have a look at it. So, you know, uh, it wasn't too far away, went there, uh, again, very nice, very pleasant. Thank God for the European system of, of uh, insurance, because we've got this little uh, insurance card that, you know, covers you for emergencies uh, abroad. So, uh, you know, I had to fill in all the paperwork and um, I must admit this doctor was kind of really uh, easygoing, so he, he didn't see the need of going to like hospital for this. He, you know, he, he suggested a tetanus shot, which I, you know, I've become very, uh, what you call that, vaccine resistant. So, um, so I sort of said like, uh, it, you know, I had a shot a couple of years ago. I'm, I'm sure that's still, still working. So, um, you know, he, he, you know, he, he dressed it up a bit. I mean, you probably can't even see it anymore, really, but there is still, you know, there's still something there. And, you know, and on my way I went and I thought like, oh, you know, that's a bit annoying. But, you know, life goes on. I drove on and I, I had headed towards um, Copenhagen, which was my, my, you know, my first proper destination in Scandinavia. And unfortunately, I mean, it didn't go any worse, like, you know, the, the wound was healing and all that. But ever since, and we're talking about two weeks now, I have a continuous headache. <laughs> and to be quite honest, I've been running around and I have now been to, listen to this, I've been to Copenhagen, Malmo, Gothenburg and Oslo. And I'm now somewhere in between Oslo and Stockholm. And I've had this headache all the time. And although it's been really lovely and beautiful, you know, the places I've visited, the last thing on my mind, unfortunately, was to film this. I just like was trying just to live in the moment and trying to clear, clear the headache in a non-druggy way. So um, I really just relaxed and, 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 and put YouTube on the back burner because uh, in the end it wasn't worth, you know, me getting injured and, and having a continuous headache. <sighs> Two weeks later, like I said, I've been to a couple of places and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to show it to you. But finally, I've been, I've been knock on wood here, uh, good old Swedish wood. Um, two weeks later, I've I haven't had a headache for a couple of days, so so maybe I should readdress uh, filming this uh, filming for this uh, YouTube channel and uh, my adventures in in the van. Since my last message on the community postings, uh, I got a lot of people wishing me well and you know saying take good care of yourself, and I thought at least I need to acknowledge that. Thank you very much for those uh, kind words, and um, they did a whole lot of good because it does mean that people are, uh, you know, like not just looking at the channel for the travel information, but more <laughs> looking at the, tra um, sorry, more looking at the, um, the channel for me and uh, were worried about me. So um, thank you very much for that, uh, for that support. So, so I addressed it already in an earlier uh, you know, rambling uh, video last a couple of weeks ago that, you know, I needed to rethink this whole YouTube channel. And I think, you know, being injured now and honestly, it was just a cut, but it was like it, at that particular moment, you know, and the headaches afterwards, it's not just a cut. But, you know, I, I, I've even heard of Instagram, you know, content creators and, and, and YouTubers that get killed trying to get that perfect uh, shot or that perfect clip. So, you know, I don't want to end up there. I just want to enjoy my travels, share it with you or share my, you know, my experiences with you. 
but without getting injured or, or without, uh, you know, like uh, without it being unhealthy or getting or getting killed, let's be honest. So, um, yeah, so we need to rethink how I'm going to film this. this. This piece to camera that I'm doing now, of course, is much, much easier than, than, you know, going out and, you know, filming the sites of Oslo and you know what people do and what people visit and what the weather is like and all that kind of stuff so I don't know if I want to keep on doing this this might be boring to you guys just watching it and seeing me talk all the time and just although the you know the background is beautiful of course it's like it's not very uh, invigorating to watch that every week so um I will make my stop in uh, in Stockholm and I will pick up the you know the, the my, my classic way of uh, you know showing where I've been and then having a bit of a chat in between and showing you a bit of uh, what my van life is like um, so yeah that was just like a little in between um, video that I wanted to share with you just in case you were wondering well what's happening with him or what, 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 what why couldn't he post what was the injury you know is he okay uh, yes I am okay uh, you always have to remember as well with YouTube it does uh, work that you know I, 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 I am somewhere but then it takes me like a week or sometimes uh, 10 days to actually edit a video so so you might think like oh he's still in Germany or you know the last video was in Germany and now now he's already in in Stockholm like what happened there it's like uh, yeah there's a, a bit of a gap in between but like I said didn't really feel like filming anything in the last two weeks so um, I um, I might have to come back go back to Gothenburg Oslo and and Malmö and Copenhagen just to shoot some videos for you because they were really really lovely places but this is lovely too let's be honest so i can find my peace and quiet here and i um i can you know get rid of the headache that was my little update and i hope you keep you subscribe to the channel because i've been losing a lot of subscribers so i think they've given up on me but please don't give up on me and i will you know i will see you next week and uh, let's see what happens in that week. Take care for now.